So before we get into the expenditure piece, so can we spend a little more sure. time again on that the revenue part? We're we're predicting a, a, a robust economy, a we job are. growth, a market share at somebody's expense or whatever. Uh, that the uh, the government would benefit from the revenues associated with all of that. Could you tell us more about those pieces of absolutely of, of, the, of the the budget before we get into the expenditures? Sure. So if we look at the the macro side of the budget, uh, Ken, uh, the unemployment rate in the province of Ontario is at 5.5 percent. That is the lowest Absolute. it's been in 17 years. So when you look at um, areas of the province today, they're at full employment rates. For example. Uh, because uh, of our, our daughter being at Laurier University. I've been in the, uh, in fact, I was in Guelph yesterday. Uh, but if you look at the Guelph, uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge area, uh, when I look at the, uh, the unemployment numbers there, it's less than 5.5%. And they're really at full employment in that area. In fact, uh, there's uh, job vacancies that are being uh, unfilled. Another area of the province that went through a lot of... Uh, uh, challenges uh, during the recession of uh, 2009, the Greater Windsor area. And I was just reading an article this morning, there's 2,000 jobs that are going unfilled right now in, in mm -hmm. the Greater Windsor area. So that's a good indicator of the, of the macro situation now in Ontario. Um, so I think that bodes well for growth uh, in the future. So I was thinking, let's uh, riff on sure. this a little bit. So the, the United States and China have got a little bit of trade war going on. Uh, a good portion of that is in the agricultural sector, soybeans and pork, for example. Correct. Are we assuming that, or do we make assumptions of how those processes will manifest in the portfolio like agriculture, which will then turn into the wealth or the revenue available to the government to kind of service all these promises we've made or are about to make uh, with the budget and certainly going into the election. Well, Ken, um, you know, the, uh, the good news is from a trade war uh, between the United States and China, uh, we'll give uh, Canada, Ontario an opportunity to, to fill, for, fill that Chinese market. Um, so are we turning that into assumptions? We, uh, I, I'm certainly turning it into okay. assumptions because, you know, we have a stellar reputation around the world in terms of food exports. It is a growing segment of the agricultural sector uh, in Ontario today. In fact, I was at our ministry offices, uh, as I said, just yesterday in Guelph, Ontario. So as the, the American administration uh, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with China, uh, on a trade war, there are, or that will create opportunities uh, for Ontario and Canada.